Hello everybody, thanks for watch watching with me. Today I am wearing my Invicta Sea Wolf, also known as, known as the Pro Diver. Invicta has a little bit of a cloudy naming convention for their individual watches. Their individual collections have really nice names, really good ones, but I think they have to work a little bit on that. So if you're looking for this watch, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to find. I think the model number would probably be a little more helpful. This is the 30415. The Seawolf collection is made up of eight total watches, so there's seven others compared to the mix of this one. I will show you those in a little bit. For now, let's look at the specs. We have a 47 millimeter case, solid stainless steel, solid links on the Jubilee bracelet. Of course, there's an exhibition case back, like you see here and you have the custom rotor on the movement there and it's of course a Seiko NH35 movement. You do get a pressed clasp, however, it does have a bunch of micro adjusts and it's a pretty good clasp, it's nice and crisp. It doesn't have a hard time closing or anything, so I think it's pretty darn good. So like I was saying, here is the Seawolf collection. It's a total of eight watches. So you can see some of the more traditional colors like blue, blue and gold, black, black, white and gold. And they even have the reverse of the model we're looking at here with an orange dial and a blue bezel insert. By the way, if you guys have been watching this far into my video, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, throw a like, add a comment, follow. I'm on TikTok and YouTube. I do a couple of videos on each channel every week, a couple of shorts and slightly longer content. So the content does vary a little bit between TikTok and YouTube. So back to the watch. Here's a loom shot. The loom on these watches is fair. I would say on a scale of one to 10, it's about a six. Pretty much what I would expect for a sub $100 watch, although there's some much more expensive watches out there that'll give you a very similar loom. So I don't think you'll be too disappointed. Like I always say, Invicta makes a lot of really neat watches, really good quality. They're a giant company, so they really have the ability to produce watches at very low prices. I think that a lot of people that don't know any better or going to say a lot of bad things about Invicta even though they have no idea what a quality watch is like, what the quality that Invicta produces solely because they're able to produce watches at a very low price because they're a giant company. So I guess this is for the people that aren't sure about Invicta. If you're looking for a really good quality watch at a really good price, something super affordable, check out Invicta. You can't go wrong. If you don't like super crazy bulky size watches, then buy the normal size ones because they make thousands of watches, literally thousands. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.